Hello, I would like to share with you a message on forgiveness from the Bible with basic illustrations of day-to-day -day situations that we have. Now we all understand that Jesus Christ died for us on a cross for our sins. And there are many scriptures within the Bible that encourage us to do the same thing that he did. Okay? And so I'd like to start with a scripture that speaks about confession of our sins. And I think it's 1 John 1 9 which would say, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The human being, or me and you, are people who would need purifying from our own sinfulness. And so if we are able to confess to God the sins that we have done, He is willing to cleanse us of our impurities. He will cleanse us to a point whereby He blots away our transgressions. The scripture that says that I think is in Isaiah 43 verse 25 and 26 around there that says, I, even I, am He who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together. State the case for your innocence. And so the Lord does that. He blots out. And to blot out is to take something out of existence completely. Wouldn't that be something that is refreshing unto you? And he speaks about, you know, let us argue the matter together. Another scripture I remember that supports that idea is Isaiah 1 verse 18 which says, Come now let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. So picture your life with sinfulness being stained. The color red obviously depicts blood. It could be black for darkness. But picture the Lord coming along saying, let's negotiate and speak about this, you know, and uh, I could turn your life into something clear and white. Then there's the renewing. Once one has, you know, sought forgiveness, it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. So when your sins are gone, the old is gone, the new is here. And then the Bible encourages us to forgive others if we're going to be able to forgive, to be forgiven. And that's when Jesus was teaching the disciples the Lord's Prayer. And he said, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. So the Bible is telling us, Jesus would say these words and he is telling us. That if you give forgiveness to others, it shall be granted unto you. But if you don't forgive others, then the Lord will hold it against you also. You won't be forgiven for that. Now, what kind of a choice would you like to make? One whereby you are forgiven because you've forgiven somebody else, or one whereby God holds your sins and accountable to you because you are not able to forgive others. So whether it's difficult to kind of understand, sometimes obedience does not need you trying to basically overanalyze it like it's brain surgery. Understand that God said do this and this is what he'll do for you. But if you don't do this, then he won't do it for you. I pray that this short message would have blessed anybody out there who had the time to listen. Please take the time out to share it when you get a chance. My name is Apostle Brian and I thank you for having taken out your time to listen to this. God bless you and take care.